Hi, uh, I'm Pushpak Karnik. I'm the chair of the CS department here and I'm a faculty involved in the MSCS program. I would say that the MSCS program aims in developing any fundamental qualities or skill sets that students bring in from their previous bachelor's degree programs and then developing it into a more specialized skill set focused on the area of game development in particular. Uh, we cover topics in a wide spectrum, uh, namely AI, networking, graphics, databases, machine learning. I would say that any candidate or any applicant who has a previous experience with a bachelor's degree in either computer science or a related field would be a good candidate for the MSCS program. We do not assume that the students have a professional experience, but we do assume that they have some basic familiarity with computer science technologies or have programmed for about a couple of years in some of the standard programming languages like C Sharp or C++ or Java. Most of our curriculum at DigiPen will be based on C Sharp and C++. So a familiarity with those languages is definitely a plus. we cover a wide spectrum of topics in computer science. Specifically, I'll take a few examples. Let's say in AI, we cover classical search-based algorithms as well as machine learning or real-time algorithms with heuristics like pathfinding or flocking behavior. In graphics, we cover state-of-art rendering methods uh, like global illumination, ray tracing, or BRDFs. In databases, we cover relational as well as non-relational databases and networking as well. And that's just the core subjects. There's also a wealth of electives that are offered on an as-needed basis that students can sign up for. So a typical MSCS program would be a two-year program. So it means it's a four-semester breakdown. So your first semester would essentially be foundational courses in math as well as computer science. Uh, we have CS529, which is our game engine course where we teach students how to develop a game engine from scratch. So that typically takes your first year or first couple of semesters. And then the second set of semesters, semester three and semester four, is where we offer optional courses that we like to call concentration tracks. So if a student wants to develop more detailed skill set in let's say graphics or networking or AI, then they can take a couple of courses or more given the electives that we offer here in terms of specializing in that particular field. The application packet usually includes the transcripts from the students, letters of recommendation, their GRE score, and perhaps the most important is their statement of purpose or the essay. Uh, I would say that there is no one factor that we use as a discerning factor to decide if a student applicant is good enough for DigiPen or not. It's a combination of all of them. The GRE scores are definitely a good initial indicator, but we also pay close attention to the essays that the students submit to us. Uh, essentially, we want to make sure that an applicant who applies to the MSCS program has thought through the process of why they want to be at DigiPen and know what they want to do with their career. The criteria for applying to the MSCS program assumes that you have a bachelor's degree in not just CS, but a related field. So for example, someone could come in with a degree in IT or math or even physics for that matter. Now, for applicants who do not have a typical or a standard CS background, their transcripts may not be able to demonstrate some of the skill sets, especially in low level programming that we expect from a CS graduate. So our CS entrance for these applicants covers those fundamental topics in let's say C, C++ or operating systems where the students have to demonstrate they have enough know-how and familiarity with the topics on par with a graduate, a bachelor graduate from a CS program. The MSCS program offers three paths to graduation. There's the comprehensive exam path, and then there's the project and the research thesis. Now, the comprehensive exam essentially is take a bunch of coursework 
and then give an exam based on the cumulative knowledge of all the courses that you have taken in the four semesters. Depending on your project or research thesis, no matter which one you take, typically takes three or four semesters. That involves the student doing some background work in a specialized topic of their interest and then spending three or four semesters with a faculty mentor or advisor working on an implementation to solve an existing problem in that field. So in some ways, to draw an analogy from the arts, I would say that the thesis is sort of the portfolio project for our students. It identifies them as an expert in that field in CS, in game development. And on the flip side, it also enables the employers to look at their resume and go, oh, this is exactly the type of person that we want in a fit for our team. The faculty are involved both in terms of teaching as well as in research. We have an amazing team of faculty who are always striving to give the best professional and technical skill set to our students. And in terms of research, they are also available as individual mentors as well as thesis advisors for students. I would say based on the observations that we as the faculty have made over the years, that some of the fundamental qualities underlying our successful students, I would say are diligence, discipline, and dedication. Irrespective of what background or what familiarity with computer science or game development a student may come with as they enter into the MSCS program, if they stick to the 3Ds, they turn out to be a good professional. Students who may want to be a game tester, for example, are not heavily involved in the production side of games, but more involved in the usability side of games. Uh, the MSCS program might not be the best fit. So my background is in computer graphics and visualization and more specifically in procedural visualization for GIS applications. And I've always been fascinated with computers and electronics ever since I was a kid. And I distinctly remember it was a eighth grade workshop for two weeks that I participated in where we wrote programs using basic programming language that got me hooked into computer science. And over the years, as I learned more about programming and the field in general, I sort of decided this is where, where I wanted to be. And I'm personally, I'm a very visual person, both as a learner and as in exposition. So being at DigiPen here is literally the best of both worlds for me.